my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today I'm going to show you everything that I got from the Sephora VIB sale. Usually when it comes to these sales I'm very strategic in how I shop. I go for staples and skincare and I stock up on all the things that I tend to use up throughout the year like brow pencils and brow gel and setting spray. I didn't do that this time. I just bought a whole bunch of stuff that I wanted. <laughs> I can't tell you what it was about this sale that just kind of made me diverge from my usual strategy, but I legitimately just bought a bunch of expensive stuff that I wanted to try. <laughs> I just finally bought all those things that had gone in and out of my shopping cart for weeks or months on end. You know what I'm talking about? Do you ever put stuff in and then take it out and then put it on your loves list but never buy it? I just bought a bunch of that stuff. <laughs> I went and shopped in store on the first day of the sale and then after that I placed an online order. When I was in the store I had a few things that I was specifically looking for and then I ended up kind of impulse buying a couple things. These are two of those impulse buys. I grabbed this Sephora brand coconut lip balm because coconut lip balm. <laughs> Coconuts and lip balms are some of my favorite things in the world so when the two get combined it goes into my cart. I also picked up this mini set from Tatcha. I hear so much about this brand and their products are really expensive so I like that I can test some things from the brand without investing in a full size. So I'm actually testing out the 4th Ray Beauty skincare right now. That's the ColourPop sister company. I ordered some things from 4th Ray so I'm using only 4th Ray Beauty for 30 days. I will be bringing you guys a review after I complete my 30 days so this will have to wait just a couple more weeks but I'm excited to finally try something from Tatcha. One of the things I was specifically looking for in store was this French press lip gloss from Bite Beauty. I ended up with two shades and I'm wearing one of them today. I'm wearing this lighter one called Salted Caramel. I also got a slightly deeper warm nude called Dirty Chai. I swatched a bunch of the shades. Everybody's talking about the shade called Flat White. That's just a little bit too pale for me, but these shades are so beautiful. I've actually been wearing them, particularly this salted caramel shade, for a couple days since I picked them up. They smell like coffee. They're so yummy. <laughs> Again, it's kind of like that coconut lip balm. It's like, I love coffee. I love lip gloss. Why not combine the two, right? Speaking of lip gloss, did I also get a third nude lip gloss? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> This is the Tarte H2O gloss in the shade Hang 10. I've kind of been wanting one of these for a while, same with the other two Tarte items that I'm about to talk about, and I just hadn't quite like bit the bullet on it. it smells like vanilla. I have not worn this one yet, but the packaging is so cool. It has these little like fake water droplets on the lid. I love the Tartist Glossy Lip Paint, so I have a feeling that I'm probably going to love this too. These are also from Tarte. These are the Chrome Paint Shadow Pots. I got the shade Sun Drenched, which is like a warm pale copper, and Top Yacht, which is a champagne pale gold. I went and swatched these in store and they look so, so beautiful. Top Yacht was out of stock at my store, so this one dropped right into my online cart. I've heard a lot of people talking about how awesome these are, particularly Sam Ravendahl, who I love her. I don't know if you know this about me, but I have like a giant lady crush on her and she raves about these. So I blame Sam for this purchase. Holy crap a moly. Do you see that? What? This is Top Yacht here. Let's just do a little swatch of Top Yacht, shall we? Oh my goodness, this is like a pressed pigment. What? Wow. I bought some very luxury items. I would never buy these things if they weren't on sale, but once that 20% off just like hits my brain, it's like, buy Dior, and so I did. This is the Dior Nude Air Serum Foundation. I don't know if you can tell since it's frosted, but this shade is a little bit too peach for me, but I am wearing this today. I just mixed it with a little bit of my Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude, which is very, very neutral. And this 
looks and feels so beautiful on the skin. It played really nicely with the Double Wear Nude, which is also a very light foundation. It looks a lot darker in the bottle than it actually is. I think that frosted glass is throwing it off. I'm gonna have to continue to test this out, but so far I'm really enjoying it. Really nice and light on the skin. I like that. I like that in a foundation. I've been staring at this palette for so long on Instagram. <laughs> It's so, so pretty. This is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. The packaging is like surprisingly kind of cheapy feeling, but these powders just look so beautiful. They have this subtle, like radiant metallic. They just look like they melt right into your skin. There's a white highlighter, a gold highlighter, a blush, and then a bronzer. I probably will have to mix this with a matte bronzer, but just overall so beautiful. The powders feel so soft. This is definitely a splurge item. I would not buy this if it wasn't 20% off, but I'm glad that I got it. <laughs> it's so freaking pretty. <laughs> Excessive. You definitely don't need it, but I'm still glad that I have it. Apparently I just went face palette crazy because the last two things in my haul are also face palettes. This little blush duo from Jouer is something that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while. This is online only from Sephora. I got the shade Adore and it's a very subtle peachy nude. I am wearing both of these blushes mixed together today and they just look so soft and so natural. The packaging is super cute. So far I'm very very happy with this purchase but I have to say this is the box that it came in and this is the blush. So when I took the actual blush compact out I was like it's a little bit small but it's just in this huge box for some reason. I don't know why because it doesn't come with a brush or anything but Regardless, it is very pretty. There's a nice little mirror in there. I love a good nude blush, so I'm here for it. The very last thing I picked up from the sale is one of those things that has been in and out of my Sephora cart for so long. I finally went for it. I got my first ever Anastasia Glow Kit. This is the Sugar Glow Kit. I am wearing two of these highlighters mixed together on my face today. I used Starburst kind of all over my cheeks and then I used Marshmallow just like right here at the very top to get that multi-dimensional glow. I've heard these glow kits raved about for so long and I kind of held off on buying them because I have tons of highlighters and these are huge pans. These are huge highlighter pans. There's four of them. Two of them are quite glittery, which aren't really my jam. The two that I didn't use, Gumdrop and Butterscotch, look pretty glittery but I felt that it was just time for me to try these out after hearing so much hype. Plus, you can't tell on camera, but this whole packaging is like sparkly and glittery, and once I set my eyes on this glitter, I was just like, it was like a tractor beam. It just like sucked me in. So that's everything I picked up from the sale. If you want more info on any of these products or you think that I should do a dedicated video about any of these, leave a comment and let me know and I'll try to make that happen for you. I also want to know what you picked up from the sale. Are you already making your holiday shopping list now? Leave a comment and let us know what you think. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Can you talk? No? Okay, great. Time to make a video. Be sale haul, haul, ha, ha. Dang it. Doing great. Just to these st stales. <laughs> Don't judge me. Oops. What? Not doing well today. Okay, that's fine. The full size product, there's a fly in here. What? Are you, are you, sir? Are you lost? A slip, glip, 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 glip gloss? I can't. Obviously, that's why you bought it. Oh, I am gonna just put fingerprints all over this packaging. That's gonna drive me nuts. It looks beautiful. The Dior... What are you? Today is gonna be one... Fly! And I'm not sorry about it. And... <laughs> FYI, I'm wearing the Emily Noel the once palette on my eyes today and I did film this look so if you want to see this eyeshadow look that is either the video that I posted before this one or the next one I'm gonna post.
so stay tuned for that. But I'm feeling like major Gryffindor vibes from this eye look and I'm not mad about it.